Hey YouTube, it's Tracy, and today at Entrepreneur Girl, we are going to be covering photo studios. When you walk in my office, you see here in the corner, I have set up my photo studio. And I use this setup for all of my eBay, Shutterfly, Shutterstock, photography needs. Really, I have used it for so many things, not just eBay. But most of you are probably wondering how to take photos for eBay and Amazon, and that is what we're going to be covering today. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So now that I have my studio broken down, I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna show you how my studio is put together, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about how you could put together a studio without purchasing anything. The first thing I have here is a lighting kit and I bought this on Amazon and I will put a link below but it came with these three lights one two three and the little one is the front light and that creates no shadows from the front and then the two big lights you can arrange them up or down has a light in the rear that you can turn off and like I said, you can move this up or down. The white goes towards the object because what's happening is you're diffusing the light bulb here. So it's not a harsh light. It's a nice soft light without any shadows onto your object. So that is the first thing. That's the lighting kit. The second thing I have is the photo studio. And I bought this also on Amazon. And these are backdrops. And these fit on the metal rod that then fits onto another metal rod. All of these metal pieces and blankets go into a carrying case so you can carry it with you. And the blankets or the backdrops come in black and white. So I have both black and both white. I have to tell you I've used both um, and I like the white better. Okay, so that's the second item I have. The third item you can see here are just something hard, some kind of table. These are actually two ends to a desk. I removed the big long desktop and pushed them together. So I used what I had. And that is what I would suggest you doing. Any hard surface works. It's actually better if you don't have this gap, you know, so you don't have anything that falls. This is just why, because I was moving around today. But that is what I have underneath. This table is just a prop I found at a garage sale and I'll show you why I use that here shortly. So that is really only three items. Photography backdrop, lights, and something to set it all on. Those are the three items you need. Okay, so you saw pictures of me putting together the white backdrop and tucking it in around my tables. Now the reason for this chair you see here is I'm going to place it underneath this backdrop and I'm going to show you why in photographs. So as you can see in this video, I have my little stool set up under my backdrop. The stool cost me all of a quarter at a garage sale, and it gives me lift and dimension to whatever item I'm trying to showcase. And when I have this, I can then, you know, turn my dish on its side. I can get from underneath. I can get interesting photographs from, you know, various angles that I can't get if I just lay it flat. It also looks like I took more care in getting the photo. It makes the photo more appealing and that makes people buy it more. More people buying, more money I make, and it's a 25 cent chair. So I like this setup the way that it is 
Um, the tables were mine. Stool was a quarter. I think the lights are around 50 and the photo is around 50, at least when I purchased it. I'll put the links below. You can see what it costs you now. But that's a minimal investment. I've been using it, you know, for a long time now and I've been really happy with it. I want to show you another thing. Okay, so here's my photo studio with my mannequin in front of it. And I wanted to show you this because this is how I take pictures of my clothes. So, you know, it's kind of interesting because with clothes, you can even leave those photo lights in and it almost looks like a photo op, like from a, you know, a model would have really showcasing your clothes. So it's interesting to see the dynamic of actually leaving your lights exposed and showing it in the photograph. But aside from that, if you choose not to, it still makes a nice background, as you can see here, if I were to lay a jacket on the mannequin and only take a picture, you know, with the backdrop, it makes a nice photograph for selling clothes. And so this is what I do with my mannequin when I want to list clothes. So I was walking around, I was looking around my office and I thought, how could I make a photo area if I had zero money? Like, could I just pop one out? And I thought, you know what, I could. See this window and it has just a spring rod in it and see that it's actually a pink lace curtain, but I have white ones around or I could use the pink. If I untied this and then tucked it into the windowsill and laid it flat, I would have a three dimensional area to take pictures out of. I'm using the sill as my flat bottom. This would be, you know, on the back of the window folded around. And then I could swing this existing lamp that I have over it like so. And I have a lot of natural light because it's a window. So I literally, if I had to, I could make that window my photo area for absolutely free. Just an idea. Okay, so let's say you don't have any money at all to spend on a photo studio. Why is an idea of something that you can do? Well, you can see I'm in my bathroom and I'm guessing that just about everyone will have a blanket or a sheet that you can pull, you know, from your house. If you don't have any kind of lighting, you're going to need natural light. Trust me, I have experience trying to do this at night and the pictures turn out grainy and they turn out like orangey. So you want a lot of natural light and you're pretty much gonna be limited to taking pictures during the daytime if you don't have any kind of lighting system set in place. So this is a really um, light spot. You know, it's late in the afternoon and I still have a lot, lot of light, but in the morning it would even be more so. So um, I would just grab a chair in my light corner here and make a makeshift studio. So you just take your sheet or your blanket, put it over any surface. You can use two cardboard boxes. You can use a table. You can use anything that you want. <laughs> okay, so I make my makeshift studio. And then I can put my book like so. So if you come on down here, you can see what a photo would look like if I were to lean down and take a picture, zoomed in a little bit. Yep, just like that. So as you can see, this is just a quick, easy suggestion. I gave you another one in my office of just ways that you can put it together for free. The most important thing with photography for eBay and Amazon is that you have a neutral background and you have lots of lighting. So make sure that you have those two things and then just center your item and it works. Hope that helps. Okay, so you've seen my photo studio and you're probably wondering what are you supposed to do if you don't have any money, if you don't have $100 to put towards a photo studio. Photo areas are super easy to make. When I first started, I didn't have that. I went to Walmart and I bought two $12 lamps, floor lamps, 
that I put up and they, they looked like the old photography lights. So I could direct where the light went and it was harsh light because you know it was the directness of a light bulb, but it worked fine when I first started. Use a white sheet, put it over any kind of like shower curtain rod, put it on top of any type of tabletop desk. It doesn't matter how ratty it is, as long as it's a solid surface underneath, and literally buy two $12 lights. And so you will have a $30 max investment only if you don't have the stuff at home. So it really is easy to, to create a photo area. And people make it more complex than it is. It's really not that hard. The whole point is that you do it because your photos will look so much better if you have an established area to take them in. All your equipment is there. You put it down. You kind of get a groove, you know, with your listings. You put it down. You take photos. You list. You put it down. You take photos you list and the photos look good they look professional and it literally could be part of your bathroom no one needs to know that you know when they're buying on ebay all they see is the pretty white background so i would encourage you to have a photo area designated if you don't have one already hope that was helpful if you haven't subscribed please do and hit the like button bye guys